still a sub. Getting more playtime though. We're coming in on the 60th minute instead of the 80th. God, these match things are shit. You can't cancel that. Antonio Sanchez. This looks more than decent. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. What makes me say that I don't want to go there if I've never been there? Um, the fact that I just have other places that I'd rather see and it's not that high on my priority list. Like, I'd rather go, like, Normandy than, like, I, I want to go to Normandy, to be honest. If I go to, if I go to France, that's where I want to go. I don't want to, I'd rather go there instead of Paris. You know, there's other places in Europe and stuff that I'd rather that I'd rather see as well before. No, I'm not saying that if I was ever given the opportunity to go to Paris, I'd I would shut it down. Um, there's just other places in France and in Europe that I'd prioritize trying to see first. Like honestly, I'd much rather go to like Austri Austria and um, Hungary over over Paris, to be honest. Mainly because a lot of that stuff is like I want to see, I want to see the architecture and stuff that's there. If you're pretty good up in Tuscany. See, yeah, I wouldn't mind going to Italy, but I don't, I don't know where I'd prioritize it. Is the issue like it's not? Like it's one of those places that I want to see, but it's like I never. When I think about going to Europe and stuff, it's surprisingly one of those places that never really pops up in my thoughts of let's go to here. I think my issue is it's a lot of places like Italy and France and stuff are more of the cliche tourist places and I kind of want to go to the other places like I'm going to London in February um, yeah middle of fucking winter time under the premise of one there's gonna be you know likely less tourists and stuff um Most beautiful woman you've ever seen her from Estonia. Interesting. You're gonna get a mail in bride, Tyler? <laughs> Gambino. Oh, 
Um, but like, say, so part of part of my thought process is like, I want to go to the like the smaller places. Like, I know I'm going to London, but because like, I want to go to London. Um, but like, otherwise, it's like I want to go to you know smaller places like Austria and Hungary, places that a lot of people in North America don't necessarily think about going to a lot of the time. Everyone loves Vienna. It does. Vienna does look absolutely beautiful. I also really want to go to fucking Austria, which is no longer named no longer named fucking. Kind of sad that they had to change their their city name. Also, Iceland. Iceland would be a wicked place to go to as well. I think I think the videos and pictures that Paris showed from his recent trip um, has more kind of. I, I've always I've kind of always wanted to go to Iceland as well. It's one of those places that's like it's just beautiful. Like it'd be great to see the Northern Lights and stuff. But I think Paris photos and videos and stuff have kind of just. Um, helped that thought process of yeah, let's actually go here. We were so close to going to Iceland this past month. Was actually gonna go on the same trip with Perwinon. Why didn't you? Still playing as a sub. Still not back in the lineup after our injury. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Liborg. Like, like, don't get me wrong, I say that, like, there's a lot of places in Europe and stuff that I want to go to, there's also other places, like, other places, like, Japan I want to go to, New Zealand would be wicked to go to, am I ever going to be able to visit all these places? Not likely. I don't think I'll ever really be able to afford being able to go to most of those places. Plenty of support here. Like, I hear people that want to go, like, oh, let's go to Australia and stuff. It's like, no, fuck that. I want to go to New Zealand. Japan I want to go to, I want to go to just because of, um, I want to see the cherry blossoms. You want to go to the Australian Open, so you have to go to uh, the, Aus the Australia by default. Yeah, fair enough. Um, cherry blossoms are a spring thing, I believe. But like, that's one of the main, like, that's one of the only reasons why I want to go is because I, I love looking at cherry like. Cherry Blossom photos are awesome. They look sick, and I, I'm very much into photography. I think it's a spring thing. I'm not 100% certain on the exact timing. I, know, I do know it is earlier in the year, though. Number one place is Croatia. Why Croatia? I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of my, my like, bucket list things would include, like, major sporting events. 
relatively inexpensive and giant coast on the water. If you have um, like a lot, a lot of my like bucket list things include like, oh yeah, I'd love to go to, you know, Stanley Cup final playoff game type thing, or you know, go to the Olympics, go to the World Cup type type shit. I should have passed that. My bucket list, a lot of my bucket list is very sports oriented. Ah, uh, keeper saved my weak foot shot. Uh, you were going to go to the Avs versus Rangers last year if the Rangers got in. Lightning beam. She still should have gone to uh, Lightning Avs. You're going to get the World Cup in 2026. I mean, I'm going to have to either go to Vancouver or Toronto to watch the World Cup in 2026. Or to the States or to Mexico. Either that or over the next four years, I get extremely, or I guess three years, I get extremely lucky and get a job in industry and I'm able to do work stuff for it. Fly to Philly and we'll get to go to a game. The issue with Canada is... They have a membership program, like Soccer Canada developed the or Canada Soccer developed a membership program before the World Cup this year, and like it's great if you live in Toronto and Vancouver, because that's where the majority of the games happen are in those two cities. Basically, what the membership does is it gets you access to being able to buy tickets and stuff and some other perks with that that also includes access to whatever world cup tickets and stuff canada would have so if you're not within this membership then you don't get the the, the team's tickets essentially um so anyone that was within the qatar like team section of Canada like were yeah, like they were membership holders but there's literally no reason to like there's no benefit to getting this membership if you don't live in Toronto or Vancouver because you can't take advantage of it throughout the year and it's a yearly thing it's not something you can just like oh I want to get these these World Cup tickets so let me get this membership it's like no you have to like pay a couple hundred dollars for it for the year I mean, yes, you will get cheaper tickets to games in Toronto and Vancouver or wherever else they may be in Canada. But it's when you don't live in one of those two major cities that get all the games, it's like, why the fuck am I going to bother? So, like, and it's and it's, a, it's a new thing, and it kind of screws over all your fans that don't live in one of those cities. Uh, I work in media. 